Hello, it's Kathy, Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. Thanks for joining me today for another video in this how-to series that we're doing. Now today, we're going to be marking on our board. So we're not actually drawing a pattern, but I'm going to show you the tools to use to just get your lines down. I thought about doing the circles and how to get real crisp, clean lines today, but I want to keep these videos down to like 12 to 15 minutes. And so we're just going to talk about the marking tools today. So this is how to draw your pattern. What? Okay what tools to use to draw your pattern. All right, so let's just get started. All right, now when I first started, I was using pencils. And, you know, I taught classes, and so I would give each person one of these little seven millimeter marking pencils. And the lines was still hard to get off. I, it was just really hard. Um, let me show you. Let, let me get get you down here as close as I can to this board. Uh, let's see here. Right here. All right. You see, you see how I'm marking on my board. You see those lines. Well, that's pencil, just regular pencil. And you can get you can get some of it off. But now I've put kills on this board. This is that gray tinted kills. Tin kills that's tinted gray. And you see you can't hardly get those lines off. Well, if you're painting white or a lighter color and you've got a lot of grid marks, It, you just have to keep putting paint on there. Unless you put a darker color first, and then sometime it'll, it'll show up. So, you know, after that, I tried different kinds of pencils. Um, I got number two pencils. I got number three lead pencils. Uh, just whatever I could find, and none of it would, none of it worked any better. And I found the heat erasable pens, and I'm going to show you that because that's my favorite. But I have also heard people talk about the colored pencils. Well, you know, I had some colored pencils, and then I thought, well, let me get some different ones. Mine were a hundred years old from when my kids was little and grandkids were little, but. So I got some different ones. I got the Studio Line brand and Crayola brand, and they didn't come off either. I mean, they, I'll show you. There's that one, and here's this one. And you can't get that off either. But now, and then I got these erasable ones. Let me find one that's sharpened. These are called color erase. And it comes off a little bit better, but not much. And you see what I was doing? I was erasing with my little pearl eraser. And now this doesn't leave as much residue to me as the pink eraser, but I have Heard people use the pink one and love them. Well, you see all that eraser trash? Now it's gonna get all over your board and everywhere else, all over the floor, the counter, whatever. But if that's something you have to deal with, that's just what you deal with. But I didn't like that. So I have heard, and I can't tell you for sure because I haven't done it, 
but I have heard people say that they mark their board with these colored pencils and just leave it on there and not try to take it off. Now, I don't know what the chemical reaction to the paint and this, uh, I don't know if there's any oil in these pencils or not. I, I don't know. Um, but I don't like the thought of that. And I don't like my lines. That's just me. I don't like those lines to be left. I want them gone. So here's what, what I do. Let me flip this over and I'll show you. All right. I use these heat erasable pens. Let me get it up here so you can see it. There you go. That's what I use. And this is the brand that I use. Now, I am not sponsored at all. This is just my favorite. But let me tell you why. There's other brands out there. But let me show you why this one is my favorite. Got another one over here that I ordered. All heat erasable pens are not equal. But can you see the tips of these? Let's see if I can get something up there to focus. There you go. You see the tips? Uh, this one on the right is pointy. It's, it's a sharp pen. And I'm sure that that would be great for something. But it kind of digs down into your keels and, and makes a, a groove, which probably is covered up and you'll never see it. But it doesn't go on as good either. And see how this one is round? That's the Ibate. And I love it. I love how it goes on. It just, it draws the lines really clear and crisp. Um, to me, the ink cartridge lasts longer than the other ones. Now, in the kit, you can buy the refill separate, but in the kit, you get four of the plastic cartridges, and they're, they have a, a ink cartridge in them when you get them. You get black, red, white, and blue. Now, I, I haven't found a use for the white yet, but, you know, I'm sure I will. It may not be barn quilting, but I have a lot of white cartridges over here. <laughs> but in the kit, you do get refills. Uh, along with the one that's in the pen, you get two more of each color. Uh -oh, you can't see that. So you get two more of each color. I don't know if that's my camera or what but I hope you can see that clear but anyway that's the little package that it comes in so here's what I do now say I drew this grid let me get you down there say I drew this grid on my board and I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of the lines. Now, I, I drew it with this blue heat erasable pen. There's two ways to do that. You, you see these lines over here? I drew those too. Now, you can take a damp cloth. This is one of those little handy wipe. Handy wipe? I think that's the name of it. Or you can use a paper towel. Something that doesn't leave a residue on your board, though. And you can just get rid of them. See, they just, and you're washing them away. 
You, they're not going to come back because you just washed them away. But now, say you got those grids and you're going to need them somewhere else and you want to leave them. Well, you can take this damp cloth and wipe those off if you want to. But here's what I do. I use my 300 watt heat tool. And it's really like an embossing tool and you can find it on Amazon. Along with these Abati heat erasable pens. They're on Amazon as well. And I'm not sponsored by anybody. But I just, I found this and I, I t got a, uh, several of them and, and I would always take them to class with me. But I dry my paint with this too. But he here's, what I, here's what I do. I just, it's heat erasable. So I'm getting rid of my lines. You see that? And then I would come back along with my card and burnish that tape down and I'm good to paint. Now, let me tell you something else. You hear people say, and you might read about it, the, and they'll say, the heat erasable pens, don't use them because the, the lines will come back. Well, I'm here to tell you that's partially true and partially not true. If I took this wet paper towel, I washed them away. They're not coming back. And my paint is wet. So if if I didn't get all the residue of that pen off with my heat tool, then the paint's wet. It's going to wash it away too. But here's the catch and what why those folks say that. Now, I did a test, and y'all call me crazy if you want to, but I wanted to show you this. This is one that I've had hanging outside for a long time. This is a side that's showing, but this is the side that I, I wanted to show you now that I did the test on. I took my heat erasable pens and I just squiggled all over this. This has been painted with three coats of exterior paint. But I took my pens and I squiggled all over them. I took a damp cloth and I wiped those off. I just wiped them off and they're gone. I took my heat erasable pen and got rid of all these. Now keep in mind, it's on top of painted wood. And then I stuck it in the freezer. Because I wanted to see if it was going to come back in cold, cold weather. Well, you know when I was drawing this pattern, I had, I blocked it off one inch blocks all over it. And I would tape it off and paint it, tape it off and paint it get rid of my lines with my heat tool so you could imagine one by one blocks on here but i painted over them so when it come out of the freezer you could not see any of those lines even the lines that i put on top of the paint did not come back but look at this the paint the lines from the heat erasable pens that I squiggled on top of my paint did come back when, it, when the wood got cold. So what I'm saying is, as long as you get rid of your lines, paint over top of it, you have no worries about these lines coming back, not at all. And this was in the freezer, my freezer. So you know it got cold. So, and they're not coming back, but you cannot draw over top 
of that paint without washing it off. You can't use the heat tool to get rid of it. You have to wash it off or it will show back up. That's my little bit tidbit of information right there. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you did get something out of this video, some little tidbit of a hint, technique, tip that you didn't know before. I just hope it was beneficial to you. And our next video, it's going to be how to actually put the pattern down. And you know we're using the, where did it go? We're going to use this pattern. Here you go. We're going to use this peace sign because it has blocks, it has circles, it has angles. And so we're going to be using that. And next week, or next, the next video is going to be how to draw this on your board. And I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you subscribe.